it hurts too bad to go that much. Um, I just can't do it. Um, Coffee's brewing. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy, happy. I have, we're busy today. We have to go to Costco. And then I have a therapy appointment, like therapy, therapy. Tomorrow I have physical therapy. Friday I have physical therapy. Um. Yeah, so I have therapy. Oh, Austin has a one o'clock appointment for to see like he's getting a full physical with his doctor so you know it's it's a, it's a busy time where the fuck is this dog is he shitting is he not i ain't letting you in until i see the other one here we go let's go anyway i'm making coffee i didn't sleep good last night and it wasn't because, well, my leg was killing me because yesterday I had therapy and they kind of, I don't know, but like they worked me pretty hard. Like my leg was bothering me yesterday. Like I had this like, it was like a stretch or like a, it's like I pulled something, you know, in my leg, in the back of my leg when they were doing these knee exercises and I didn't feel it there, but I felt it last night so i'm i'm dealing with that right now oh it's bright um so look at that that's the orchid in the video remember i told you guys that we have hold on see the orchid look at how beautiful somebody was throwing that out for two dollars we brought that bitch back to life um yeah, so I'm still hurting. I have been laying my leg on the heating pad because I have one of those like really big flat heating pads. I have two heating pads. I have one that goes over the shoulders, just which is like a fucking godsend. And then the other one is kind of like flat and it's velvety so you can like lay on it and it's very comfortable. I put my leg on it last night. Like I laid it long ways and I put my entire fucking leg on it because my entire leg was killing me. Anyway, the reason I couldn't sleep was because of that. So then I said, fuck it. I'm not going to just be in pain and be miserable, right? So I said, let me find something to watch on TV. So biggest fucking mistake because then I actually was like, oh, maybe I'll fall asleep to it, bitch. I did not fall asleep. I watched the whole fucking movie. The whole fucking movie. Coffee's done. It was called Labor Day, and it was on Amazon Prime, and Kate Winslet was in it. And um, Tobey Maguire was in it, but he has a very small part. And then the kid that plays Clay Jensen from 13 Reasons Why, he's also in it. But he has a very small part as well at the end. But the movie was really good. I was saying to myself, am I gonna like this? Cause I read the little, you know, and I'm like the synopsis and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Bitch, please. Bitch stood up. Well, I was, the only thing I was missing was fucking popcorn last night. Okay, last night, that's the, at two o'clock in the morning. The only thing I was fucking missing was popcorn. Cause it was really fucking good. Um, the message, the message was really good behind it. It was just like a, it was, it was, it was a cheesy, it, I wouldn't say cheesy. Let me, let me retract that. It wasn't cheesy. It was love story. And I'm into love stories. I'm a hopeless romantic. Okay, so is Arlo. But it was really fucking good. It's called Labor Day. If you see it on Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, and you want to watch like a nice little love story, nice little chick flick, watch it. It's, it's good. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to make my coffee. All right, we're on our way to my therapy appointment which is at 11 and it's 10.46. And then we have, Arlo's is next Tuesday, so 
she's opposite of me again. <laughs> I know, right? I thought I was like, hey, we're gonna get it done on the same day. And no. No. So, and then Austin has a doctor's appointment at one. So we'll drop him off to that. Then he'll take care of what he has to take care of there. And that's it. Then I'm gonna go home and I did not have a good night. I didn't sleep well. I talked about that this morning. I didn't sleep well at all. And then I'll have my therapy hangover, so it's kind of like bam, bam, bam. So that'll be fun. Anyway, see you when I get back. All right, I have a Costco haul and an Aldi haul. There isn't much in the Aldi haul. I'm making Laura Vitale's best blueberry muffins. I'm also making the Kitsch chocolate chip muffins with the same recipe, but I'm taking the blueberries and the orange zest out. So, Costco, Aldi haul coming right up. All right. We got two things of romaine uh, lettuce. Everybody eats the romaine, including the guinea pigs, so I got two of them. Uh, I got some celery, some Cheetos, broccoli florets. Uh, we love these tomatoes. I got some spring mix, blueberries, and then I found these avocado oil, sweet potato chips, and then the late uh, July multigrain sea salt tortilla chips um, are the... Arlo seen uh, a co-worker of hers eating them, and I believe she had one and said they were good, so we got a bag. Uh, our, our Dave's Killer Bread we love, some strawberries, um, Samantha's favorite bagels, just two uh, things of plain potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots. These are steaks for tonight. Whoops. And then this is from uh, Aldi. We got pumpkin for the dog, some unsweetened butter, sour cream, one of these uh, brown sugar, regular sugar, and then flour to make the muffins. All right, I'm on a mission. I'm making Laura Vitale's blueberry muffins. I've made them before on here, like a thousand years ago, but I'm making them again because Arlo wants them. And there is the mixture. I just added the blueberries. Now I'm gonna put them in some uh, muffin, things and we are going to bake them. We're going to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I'm canceling my PT on Friday because I can't do back-to-back -back PT. So I have to figure out a better schedule than that. Like, every other day it's got to be. So I'm going to try to go for Saturday. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. But I'll come on here in the morning. So toodles. Happy Thursday. I just got back from physical therapy. They busted ass. They busted my ass. Yeah, so I did that, and um, I was supposed to go tomorrow, but I canceled, and they don't have any really availability for Saturday. I think they have, um, I think that it was like a late, one late appointment, and I can't do that. So I'm just going to call Monday and make an appointment for two days next week. I'm only going to go two days, because three days is just, it's not in the cards. It hurts too bad to go that much. Um, I just can't do it. Um, so I'll do that. And right now I'm just making us some lunch. I'm making Arlo's dinner for work. There's some kind of a forest fire or something somewhere because it stinks outside. And there's like little pieces of ash that I feel when I was sitting out there with the dogs that are like falling. So something's going on. Either they're control burning somewhere or something's happening. So I'm going to make some food. I made her steak. She's having a baked potato with that. Haven't decided yet, but I will figure that out. And uh, when I do... You'll see it. All right, here's lunch. Just a sandwich, turkey, salami, provolone, lettuce, tomato, salt, pepper, gorillos, pickles, and a little teeny thing of the good culture cottage cheese. I'm going to have some sweet potato chips, and that's all. So therapy was good today. Um, you know, it was therapy. I'm eating a car, car, orange. But... So I've had four therapists already. I thought that you would give, be like assigned to a certain therapist or just a therapist, but I've had four of them already. 
I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I get it. But, I don't know. It's like, I have to keep like explaining every single fucking time I go. They're like, oh, so are you you're having shoulder you're having right shoulder pain? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, did you get hurt? And I'm like, don't anybody relay the fucking message. Cause I'm just like it's like I gotta keep fucking telling the story over and over. I didn't get hurt recently. I had a two level fusion in my cervical spine in 2015. I have a lot of issues going on above and below where the actual surgery was. And my surgeon told me that there's a huge possibility that in the future, which this is the future, we possibly could have more problems with our neck. And I have calcification going on in my upper right arm. I don't know. It's just frustrating because it's like no one like knows what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I don't want to keep telling you that. Don't you guys have notes? They're constantly, you know, doing whatever on the laptop. Read the fucking notes. Like, I'm not going to keep telling you my story over and over. I had a two-level fusion in my cervical spine in 2000, November of 2015. I don't know what's going on with my knees. They just started hurting all of a sudden. And I was like, and that's why I'm here. Because my insurance company are fucking assholes like most in the United States of America. And... Well, I have to go through physical therapy first in order to get a fucking MRI in this goddamn country. So, what we're doing here is trying to figure out what's up, and then we're going to get an MRI. Because the thing is, they're like, oh, your x-rays, what, what did your x-ray show? And I'm just like, x-rays? You're a physical therapist. X-rays don't show shit, okay? We know X-ray, you might as well just take a picture of me because an X-ray doesn't really show anything. Just take an actual picture because you're gonna see the same thing in a picture as you're gonna see in a goddamn X-ray, nothing. I don't know, it is what it is. Anyway, so I'm drinking a, I'm gonna make a coffee right now because I had a coffee this morning but I didn't drink it all, I only drank half. So I'm feeling the effects of only having a half a cup of coffee this morning and having no caffeine since. So I'm gonna go make myself some kind of a coffee, maybe a espresso of some sort, hot, preferably. No, maybe cold. So I'll come back on here later. I don't know what I'm eating for dinner. I'm thinking maybe the rest of my dad's chicken a la king because that's really all I have made. I don't have a lot of food made. The kids already have their stuff. And Arlo went to work, and so obviously she has her stuff. Because I made her steak and a baked potato, but I don't know what the fuck I'm eating. I might have my dad's chicken a la king with like some bok choy or something. Like a vegetable, a green vegetable on the side with the white rice. We'll see. Let's see what the fuck I come up with. <laughs>